first question which are the formulas used for heat transfer through extended surfaces with condition infinitely long fin second question solve one problem for the heat transfer through infinitely long fin let us understand some important formulas for the heat conduction through extended surfaces that is fins for the condition infinitely long fin so we will observe this diagram so this is the extended surface that is known as fin which is having length l and we are going to consider this length as a infinitely long the temperature at the base of fin is to and surrounding temperature is tf now he how the heat transfer process is taking place so heat transfer is taking place from this base along its length of the fin by conduction and convection process so why conduction because there is fin material with some conductivity k so conduction process is taking place and here is the surrounding that is having lower temperature than the base of the fin so here the convection heat transfer process is taking place from this fin material towards the surrounding so we will understand how the temperature distribution equation or this temperature distribution is taking place along the length of the fin so we will plot here one graph on the horizontal line we will plot here the distance x from the base of the fin and on the vertical line we will plot the temperature so here if we observe temperature tf that is temperature of the surrounding is lower so we will show here and that will remain constant so we will show here with the help of this horizontal line then the temperature at the base of fin is to which is higher so we have to show here with to now if we observe this diagram this length is infinitely long so because the conduction and convection heat transfer is taking place at the end of this fin this temperature difference in between this fin material and surrounding temperature will become zero so we will say that at x is equal to l that is when distance x is equal to this l then theta is equal to zero so we have to show this temperature with this theta now we will show here temperature difference at the base so what is the temperature difference at the base that is to minus tf so i will show here so this to minus tf we will uh, show in terms of theta so here this will be theta o now we have to draw graph for the temperature distribution along the length of the fin so here this temperature is getting decreased from this to to this at the end of the fin so i will show here so this is the temperature distribution curve now we will consider any section x along this fin so along this fin suppose i will say here is the any section x and how to find out the temperature at this section x so here this temperature will be tx so if we have to show the temperature then we have to take the difference in between tx and tf so i will draw here this length and here will be temperature tx and here will be temperature tf so here we will show tx so tx minus tf is nothing but this theta so this tx minus tf is nothing but theta so in between this theta and theta o there is the formula for this infinitely long fin and this formula is known as temperature distribution equation so theta by theta o is equal to e raised to minus mx so what is m so m is equal to under root of hp by ka so that that is known h that is the heat convective heat transfer coefficient because the heat is getting transferred through the convection process then p perimeter of the fin k conductivity of the fin material and a area of the fin that is cross sectional area of the fin now we will move for the next 
so what is the next that is the heat flow rate from the fin so heat flow rate that is heat is flowing or heat transfer is nothing but q so how the heat flow rate how to calculate the heat flow rate that is under root of hpka into theta o so theta o that means to minus tf then fin efficiency so fin efficiency theta is equal to 1 upon ml so m is under root of hp by k and l that is the length of the fin we will read the given question to determine the thermal conductivity of a long solid 2 cm diameter rod one end was inserted in a furnace while the remaining portion was projecting out in air at 30 degree celsius after the steady state had been reached to the temperature at two points on rod 10 cm apart were measured and found to be 120 degree celsius and 90 degree celsius respectively the heat transfer coefficient over the surface of the rod exposed to air was estimated to be 20 watt per meter square kelvin what is the thermal conductivity of rod let us understand the given data with the help of diagram it is given that the long solid rod of 2 cm diameter so we have to show here the long rod which is having diameter 2 cm and one end is inserted in the furnace so we have to show that now when the steady state process is reached then the temperature at two points is given and th these two points are at 10 cm apart so we will consider any random point that is the point a so temperature at this point a is 120 degree celsius and the other point is 10 cm apart from this point a and the temperature at this point b is 90 degree celsius now the temperature of the surrounding that is tf is also given so we will consider this temperature as a tf which is equal to 30 degree celsius and convective heat transfer coefficient h is equal to 20 watt per meter square kelvin so this information is given and we have to find out what is the conductivity of rod that is k now we will first plot the temperature distribution curve that is this is the rod we are going to consider infinitely long then what is the value of theta at the end of this rod so theta that means nothing but the temperature difference in between this end of the rod and the surrounding temperature so this theta value is equal to zero so we have to show that first so i will uh, here draw one construction line i will extend this point that is the end of this rod and here temperature difference that is theta we have to take zero that means temperature at the end which is equal to tf so here we will take here theta is equal to zero now what is the temperature of the furnace so which is higher so as compared to the surrounding temperature it is higher so it is not given or not mentioned in the question so we will plot here that is temperature to now how to draw the temperature distribution curve so here we have to join this to and this end point so this is the temperature distribution curve now the difference in between this to and tf that is nothing but theta o so we will plot here the point theta o that is the temperature difference at the base of the rod and surrounding temperature in the same way the temperature at point a we will consider here as a ta and temperature at point b we will consider here as a tp so if we extend this point a then here point of intersection with this graph is known as ta and here this temperature is tf so ta minus tf in terms of theta we will write here as a theta a now in the same way for this point b we will construct here one line so this point of intersection is known as tb and this temperature is tf so tb minus tf is known as theta b so what is the temperature distribution equation for infinitely long fin so theta by theta o is equal to e raised to minus mx where x is the distance from the base 
so we will consider here the distance from the base of the rod to the up to this point a will be x so we will consider this now how to write the temperature distribution equation at this point a so at this point a here theta a is there base temperature difference theta o is there and the distance from the base is x so we will use these parameters so theta a by theta o is equal to e raised to minus mx now in the same way we will plot the temperature distribution equation at the point b so temperature difference that is in at the point b and surrounding temperature is theta b then theta o is there and the distance from the base so here is the base of the rod so what is the distance from the base that is x plus 10 cm so standard unit is 0 0.1 meter so we will write here x plus 0 0.1 meter so we will use here this distance and we will write here theta b by theta o is equal to e raised to minus m in the bracket x plus 0 0.1 so standard unit that we have to use now theta o is not known because t o is unknown that is not mentioned so we will take the ratio so i will give here this equation number one and equation number two so we will take the ratio for this equation one and equation two then this theta o theta o will be getting cancelled so theta a by theta b is equal to e raised to minus mx divided by e raised to minus mx plus 0 0.1 so we will simplify this so de for denominator we will multiply here m inside the bracket so it will become e raised to minus mx into e raised to minus 0 0.1 m so if we observe this e raised to minus mx e raised to minus mx is getting cancelled so here 1 divided by e raised to minus 0 0.1 m so this we will transfer to the numerator then this minus sign will become plus so which is equal to e raised to 0 0.1 m now e raised to 0 0.1 m is equal to theta a by theta b so what is theta a ta minus ta f so ta 120 degree celsius minus 30 divided by theta b that is tb minus ta f that is 90 minus 30 so if we solve this we will get 90 by 60 is equal to e raised to 0 0.1 m now here we will use the calculator so if we observe 90 by 60 is equal to e raised to 0 0.1 m so we have to cancel this m so we will take the inverse of e on the both side so if we observe this calculator here inverse of e raised to x is nothing but ln so here when inverse of e raised to x that is ln 90 by 60 therefore ln 90 by 60 and inverse of e into e raised to 0 0.1 m so inverse of e and in this e will be getting cancelled and which is equal to 0 0.1 m so ln 90 by 60 how to calculate ln in the bracket 90 divided by 60 bracket complete which is equal to 0 0.405 therefore m is equal to divided by 0 0.1 4.05 now this m is nothing but m is equal to under root of hp by ka now this is very simple so we will put the value 4.05 which is equal to under root of hp h is 20 p perimeter so here diameter is given 2 cm so perimeter that is pi d so pi into d d is 2 cm that is uh, 0 0.02 meter divided by k into a pi by 4 d square pi by 4 0.02 bracket square so if we observe here only one unknown term is k so we will take the square on both side and we will find out the value of k so when we calculate the value of k is 243.86 watt per meter kelvin so this is the answer